Etienne Barge, a reporter for Business Insider, has been doing some serious investigating on James Charles and all the allegations against him. She even recently interviewed his former employee, who's currently suing him. As we all know, James really thought it was in his best interest to clear up the accusations against him from his former employee the other day in a lengthy video he'd posted to Twitter. He pretty much accused her of lying and brushed off everything she'd said. Not once did he bring up anything to do with the main reason he's being cancelled, aka the grooming allegations. People are like, what the hell? Your lawyer is going to be so mad at you, James. The fact that he kept his mouth shut regarding all the allegations except this? Oh dear. Someone please pour me a cup of tea. And let's get into the exposing interview Kat Tenbarge had with James's former employee. So as we all know, James got cancelled for his underage scandal, which has resulted in him being demonetized on YouTube, losing all his sponsorships, and most importantly, his bread and butter, Morphe, has cut ties with him. So on top of all this, James's former producer, editor, and creative director, Kelly Rocklin, is speaking out about her lawsuit against him. Within the lawsuit, she has alleged a disability discrimination failure to pay minimum wage despite her working overtime, wrongful termination, failure to provide reasonable accommodations when she suffered a head injury while working for James. And Kelly also revealed in her recent interview with Business Insider that James constantly used the N-word in front of her and other co-workers. Kelly Rocklin worked for James for approximately six months back in 2018, so that's quite some time ago. And from the sounds of things, at the very beginning of their business relationship, James showered her in praises and gifts from Louis Vuitton before he turned around and treated her like garbage. And here is physical proof of that gift he gave her. The ongoing lawsuit that was recently exposed and brought to the attention of the public has actually been going on for a couple of years, so it's news to everyone. Kelly is still trying to get paid that money James owes her and more for the damages he caused her, including ruining her professional reputation. Kelly obviously didn't share this information with the media for years, and it's only now that she feels she can speak publicly about her experience working with James, and this could be because of literally all the allegations that are now coming out against him, that maybe she too feels comfortable enough to share her story. So let's delve into the tea. It turns out that Kelly wanted to actually settle this lawsuit with James privately. However, he and his lawyers declined to settle during conversations in 2019. Kelly also revealed that James and his legal team said back then that they wanted to litigate the dispute in private arbitration. Didn't happen. So fast forward to March 2020, Kelly filed her complaint in LA County Superior Court. Saucy, saucy. Although Kelly has quite happily shared her side of the story with Business Insider, James has refused to make any comments. And instead, after he got contacted, he got furious and was freaking out because he knew this article was coming out about him. So he took to his Twitter and posted a lengthy video the other day accusing Kelly of taking her story to Business Insider in an attempt to pressure James publicly into a higher settlement offer. Well, maybe she wouldn't have had to do that if James treated her respectfully in the first place. Kelly has the receipts. She has physical receipts of how James treated her. Within James's Twitter video, he also questioned why she's speaking out now because the lawsuit has been going on for years. Kelly's attorney responded to James's Twitter video by telling Insider that the real reason the case has actually taken so long in the first place is because of James's lawyer's attempt to compel arbitration and their subsequent appeal when arbitration was denied by the court. So that basically means James has been trying to avoid this lawsuit at all costs with his lawyer, and I think I mentioned in one of my prior videos, James's legal response to this lawsuit back when it was first filed was like pathetic. Basically, his lawyer just said, nope, didn't happen, moving on. Kelly actually now hopes that by coming forward and sharing her experience working for James, it should warn influencers to treat their employees with respect if they're not already. She hopes to be compensated for not only her attorney fees, but for her unpaid wages, damages, and more. James most likely allegedly talked shit about her behind her back to other influences because she'd mentioned something along the lines of he ruined her professional reputation. Kelly worked an insane amount of hours to not be paid overtime, especially because she was only allegedly working for minimum wage. Kelly then of course debunked James's Twitter exposing video and revealed even more disturbing things she experienced while working for him. And let me just say right now, James cannot come back from this. He thinks with all the millions of supporters he has left, he can somehow destroy Kelly's reputation even more. Well, he's got another thing coming because as Kelly revealed that James would use the N-word. Kelly claims that James would use the slur all the time around his friends too. Someone who also had a personal relationship with 
James, way back in the day, also told Insider he would use the slur in front of them all the time at school. And it's no surprise that Kelly claims everyone around James wants to keep in his good books so they can reap the benefits when all is good in his world. As we saw previously, James loves gifting the people around him Louis Vuittons. And unfortunately, a lot of people would ignore all the red flags and stay close to someone who is giving them thousands of dollars worth of designer stuff. Could you imagine if one of James's closest friends decided to turn on him and expose the tea? Imagine. Now, if you're thinking, oh, okay, this could all just be allegations for clout, blah, blah, blah. Well, well, well. Boy, oh boy, do I have the news for you. So Kelly worked for James in 2018, right? Well, that was exactly a year after James apologized for an offensive tweet about Africa. His microaggression also shone through last year when he came for Alicia Keys for starting a skincare line. So with his consistent history of this behavior that we've all seen first-handedly on Twitter and multiple other social media platforms, is it really that hard to believe the allegations that Kelly has made against him? Although James claimed he was being blackmailed by Kelly in his recent Twitter video, Kelly's attorney denied these allegations when talking to Insider. Apparently, James offered a settlement amount to Kelly to stop talking with Insider, aka alleged hush money. Saucy, saucy. Clearly, it didn't cover the expenses of having her reputation ruined, nor did it probably cover the wages he owed. So yeah, she ain't keeping quiet. She's exposing even more now by the minute. James also tried to debunk the alleged hush money claims in his Twitter video. Kat Tembage, the journalist investigating James and getting the tea from Kelly, his former employee, had recently updated everyone on Twitter about the situation. Most recent update from James's manager. James made a reasonable settlement offer for an employment lawsuit. She counted with an outrageous amount of money to settle and to retract her public statements. James wasn't willing to pay her off. In a response to that from Kelly's attorney, the offer was made to silence Kelly and to have her retract the story. And it was in no way reasonable considering all the damages that she is entitled to under the law. Kat had also exposed a snippet from her article that goes into detail about how James wanted Kelly to help her shave his b she had tweeted, Kelly Rocklin also described to me in detail what she says it was like to work for James in 2018, from picking up his dirty laundry to being called a b He also texted her, Kelly, I might need your help shaving my butt before Coachella. Imagine having to go over and essentially pick James up out of bed, tell him to brush his teeth, tell him, okay, what do you want to eat? Okay, someone is coming to do your laundry. Okay, I'm going to get your laundry, I guess. Okay, time to start filming. You don't want to film? Well, we both know you have to, so please let's think about it, Rocklin said. She also said Charles walked around the house kid in front of her, called Rocklin names like a b and once texted her, Kelly, I might need your help shaving my b in preparation for a revealing Coachella outfit. Rocklin said that the conduct made her extremely uncomfortable. So yeah, I will leave a link to the full article down below in the description because boy oh boy does Insider find the tea and spill it. Anyways guys, let me know your thoughts on all this James Chihuahua drama in the comments.